Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog in my new podcast room. You know, I'm just sitting here wishing you guys an amazing day and waiting for Spotify to give me $100 million for my podcast. The truth is, is that not everything that you should do or I do is about the money. I mean, don't get me wrong. The dream is to do what you love and make money at it. How much better could it get than that, right? But you know, with this podcast room, do I think it could go well? I do think it could be something big, but I'm just having a good time with it. And the truth is, the majority of the things I seem to do are more about just doing things I want to do and hoping that eventually it'll pay off. And if it doesn't, I've at least gotten the reward of having a great time. Speaking of payoff, we had an amazing clutch that was a pastel Enchi Lesser Bongo that was bred to a banana clown. And that hatched a few weeks back. Well, they actually have shed now, and I want to show you the results. First off, look at that monkey right there. That is actually a pastel bongo that is hat for clown. Oh my goodness, that thing is on fire. And this entire clutch just hatched out was unbelievable. It was like literally the dream clutch. And I'm keeping all these guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna sell any of them. This is actually a banana bongo that is het for clown as well. Just look at the cool head pattern. I, that bongo really does a lot of influence. This one also might have Enchi in it too. It's a little hard to tell with some, to be totally honest with you, because a lot of these animals are world's first and no one really has ever produced them before, so we really don't know what they actually are. This is actually the same animal as the mom was, which is a pastel Enchi lesser bongo, and this is also a hat for clown, so absolutely amazing. Just imagine some of those combinations with the clown here pretty soon, and then we got into some crazy stuff right here. Oh my goodness. Take a look at that right there. This is actually a banana pastel Enchi lesser bongo hat for clowns. So that was the all gene animal and oh my goodness, did that come out amazing. Again, can you imagine when these things get up to size? It's gonna be crazy the stuff we get. And here's another one, the same genetics. Again, that's a pastel, it's a banana, it's an Enchi, it's a bongo, it's a lesser, it's hat for clown. Oh my goodness, that thing is to die for right there. So again, you know, we had a beautiful clutch hatch out right there. I had to give you the update on that. And again, you know, these are the fruits of our labor. You know, I don't even really think about the money side of those animals I, because I don't know what they'd be worth, but I'm not selling them because I'm keeping because I can't wait to see what their offspring is. And that's what it's always about. Doing things that just kind of get you up in the morning and get you excited about coming to work or doing whatever you're doing. Oh, hey, RJ, what's going on? See ya. Whew. Guess he wasn't happy to see me as I was to see him. What do you say we get out of the dungeon here and go cut a clutch of eggs over at the Reptarium? Back at you, there is not a lot more egg cutting for the year, guys. I mean, probably maybe 15 more clutches and we are wrapping up 2020. What a year, gearing up for 2021 breeding season already. This is actually a pastel bred to a calico pin yellow belly. We cut a very similar clutch that had three of the lemon blast calico pins in it. That's what we're shooting for. There's nine eggs in this clutch, so let's hope we get a few of those again. It'd be pretty dope. Let's just jump into it. And again, the calico, the pastel mix really well together. Then you put the pin in there and ooh, duh. So this is actually, it's a right off the rip, we got a pinstripe calico. Now the pinstripe calicos aren't really extreme, but they're more orange and then as they get bigger, that orange turns to white. It's really still a cool animal. So I love to bruise calico stuff. So that's actually a good way to start this clot. Egg number two, but again, we want that lemon blast calico. That's what we're really looking for. Looks like just a normal calico. So hey, we got some calico stuff, super popular. And this is a really pretty calico too. So that's really good. And we still have seven eggs to go. Come on, lemon blast calico pin. That's what I really want to see. And what do we have? No, not, not yet, not yet. Looks like just a, maybe just a pinstripe to be honest. It's a really pretty pinstripe, but it doesn't look like there's anything else going on in it. So, so far I've been whiffing on our odds as far as the lemon blast calico pin, but hey, we still have a bunch of eggs to go, so we're gonna hit it. Come on, let's do it. Every egg is an opportunity, right? I look at every egg as the opportunity to produce the thing that you really wanna produce. It looks like we've got another pinstripe calico here without the thing. Interestingly enough, now we've cut four eggs, there's been no pastel, because it's weird, because the female's a pastel, so half the eggs should be pastel. We've completely whiffed on that gene, but again, we still have uh, two, four, five eggs to go. Let's see what we got here. Hmm, gosh, it looks like we might have whiffed on everything. Literally a normal ball python. 
that's an unusual thing to hit in that combination. So still no pastels and we only have four eggs to go. Uh, again, last time we had three of the lemon glass calico pins. We're, we're gonna have to do some pretty crazy odds on the last four eggs to get that again, but let's go ahead. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna send out positive vibes, let's do it. Come on, gotta get a pastel in here somewhere, right? Another non-pastel. But this one looks like, uh, this one actually is a yellow belly and it might just be a normal yellow belly. It doesn't look like there's anything else to it. So strange, this has been weird. Three eggs to go, let's, uh, let's just keep cutting. You never know when you're cutting a clutch eggs what's gonna happen, right? Sometimes uh, even I'm surprised at the result. So three eggs to go, let's get at least one all gene animal. Here we go, gosh, what a weird, weird clutch to cut. But this one might be it, this one might be it, let us see. Oh my gosh, it's not gonna be a pin. It, this is crazy. So this is actually, it's actually still a really beautiful snake. This is a pinstripe calico yellow belly. So this is all the genes minus the pastel. So now we've cut two, four, six, seven eggs and have yet to hit a pastel, which is crazy because the female's a pastel. Two eggs to go. If we get this whole clutch and don't produce a pastel of any kind, I will be blown away. And again, not, we missed it again. And, uh, and listen guys, we have another little umbilical twist. Remember this happened the other day where we had an umbilical twisted around? This one we're gonna have to kind of go into. So let's cut the last egg, we'll go back. We'll get this umbilical hopefully untwisted with this animal. This one, I don't know, last one was super easy. It was right by the head, we were able to just pop it out. Don't know, sometimes it can be a really severe twist and you have to really work on it. But uh, let's cut this last egg and then we'll go back and see if we can get that umbilical twist out so that we save that baby's life. And again, that's just another reason why cutting eggs, if you didn't, if. If I didn't cut that egg, and that umbilical twist most likely would kill that snake. And guess what guys, we hit a pastel, but it looks like a pastel yellow belly, possibly a calico. So only one pastel out of nine eggs, so weird. No lemon blast, no lemon blast calicos, no lemon blast calico yellow bellies, that is weird. But with that being said, let's go back to this egg here with this little umbilical twist. And again, I'm gonna have to kinda cut into this thing a little bit more than I'd really like to. And see, you can see right there where the umbilical and the yolk is like just twisted around. Again, it looks like maybe I can maybe just slowly get the thing's head through it like this, just like last time, and if I can, we can get that restriction on there exactly like that. Beautiful, absolutely what I wanted. So I was able to untwist that umbilical, we're good now. Now the rest of that yolk can be absorbed, it's not gonna restrict the animal and kill it. So uh, that was actually an easy fix. Two umbilical twists this year, both of them super simple. I've had many of them where they've been really a pain. A couple times I've actually actually cut the umbilical and then solder it so that it doesn't bleed out. So, so far been good. We saved another animal and uh, ultimately had a pretty cool clutch of eggs, even though the results were very unusual. RJ, you're getting pretty heavy. Look at there's a white cobra. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> this is the coolest thing ever that so amazed me because Let Roses Burns uh, actually did this for me. It's absolutely incredible. The point is, dream big people, dream big because one day you may have your own action figure with the banana shirt and the whole shot with Belle on it. Absolutely love this side. Uh, <laughs> and if you notice, even RJ is missing the right leg. So uh, it's a great job. Thank you for that. I uh, wanna go back to the podcast for a second. I need your help really quick. I want to start bringing in weekly guests, but I don't want them to be like, always animal guests. I want them to be all kinds of things. I'm interested in every walk of life, right? So every Saturday or who knows what day, to be honest with you, we want to have a guest on where it be me and that guest. And we want to just kind of talk about their life, whether they're a scientist, whether they're paranormal, whether they are a zookeeper or something like that. But I'm busy. You guys know that. Does someone have some time that wants to start reaching out to people that would actually come in and spend time? You know, kind of like a booking agent. If you guys have the time, think you have the connections and the tenacity to get to some really cool guests that people want to do, I want you to do me a favor. Go over to Jay Tomsky on Instagram, follow him first, and then send him a message and he will message you back. We need one person that's going to be really tenacious, really amazing, really hardworking, that will actually try to find us really good guests for the podcast, the podcast that we're called Been Wondering, which means that I've been wondering about whatever that person does for a living or their hobby is. So uh, again, message Jay, tell us if you can help us out. Let's make this podcast amazing. And speaking of salt and pepper, uh, I tell you what, guys, this is a uh, this is a nightmare. I, I literally, I'm I'm kind of at a loss. I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought I had this fixed three times now. I guess we're back to square one. What exactly to do and where this water is coming from is your your guess is as good as mine. I don't know. So. 
I just gotta, I gotta mentally regroup and hopefully here within the next couple days I can kind of get a mental attitude and try to fix this thing once for all. If you guys have any ideas for me, let me know because uh, there's water all over the ground. This thing is, this is, this is, this is crazy. I usually can fix things and I am at a loss. Excited my buddies from Ohio came back down to install the countertop. Uh, I may have to have bribed them to come out on a Sunday. No, I appreciate you guys, man. I tell you what, uh, literally their day off, they're here working to help us out. So uh, definitely show them some love. I'll put some links in the description. Uh, really good guys. So the countertop's gonna go on and this place is gonna be amazing. You excited, Jay? Where's Jay? Jay? Hey! Wait, are there you oh, dude. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited, bro. Look, it's gonna be so <laughs> sick. I can't wait. I know, enjoy it, man, enjoy it. I As always, another eventful day, but I always will encourage you guys to follow your dreams because that is the best way to go. If you guys enjoyed this video, uh, right here is a video I think that you'll enjoy. Can you watch that? It helps my click-through rate. It helps this channel. Please do me a favor and do that. Up here, you can subscribe to the podcast channel. I'm telling you, it's going to be amazing. Definitely send Jay Tomsky a message if you can help with that. On this side, you can subscribe to this blog channel. Turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.